Good evening, it's good to be back. Tonight on 10 News First Queensland, a tiger handler bitten and bloodied by a big cat at Dreamworld. How theme park staff helped her survive. The daycare educator who preyed on at least 60 children across Brisbane. Their families in court to hear him say guilty. The Queensland DNA lab crisis, more than 400 sexual assault kits yet to be tested while rapists remain free. A 10 News First exclusive, were knives sold as toys at the Gold Coast show? An investigation underway. Remembering Jan Power, the woman who made a promise to a farmer and filled our homes with fresh produce for decades. Hello everyone, Liz Cantor with your weather live from Burley with the latest on this record-breaking heat and your forecast for the next seven days. Made in Brisbane, this is 10 News First with Sharon Gadella. Good evening. An experienced animal handler has been mauled by a tiger at Dreamworld. It happened just before the park was due to open. As we go to air tonight, the victim is now stable in hospital, but the future of the tiger is unclear. As tourists arrive to create memories at one of the Gold Coast's premier theme parks this morning, police and security guards were meeting nearby. Senior officers were called to Dreamworld in the wake of a confronting incident. Just before nine, a handler was attacked by a big cat. So the patient obviously um, had received some serious um, lacerations and puncture wounds from, from the animal. Um, she was quite pale and feeling unwell. The victim was a 47-year-old woman, an experienced senior handler who was walking the tiger at the time and her survival is due in part to her colleagues. Thankfully on their arrival the um, bleeding had been managed um, very well by first aid providers there at Dreamworld which was excellent to see um, and that patient is now in a stable condition at, at hospital. Tiger Island opened nearly 30 years ago. It prides itself on breeding programs and is home to nine Bengal and Sumatran tigers. Which one is responsible for the attack hasn't been revealed. Dreamworld says the attack on the staff member is rare and isolated. Rare because, unfortunately, it has happened here before. In 2011, a Bengal tiger bit two handlers in two separate incidents. At the time, the park said it would monitor the tiger's behaviour to see what was agitating him. He later went back on display. And today, people could still see the big cats up close. Hey, sneaky head. Dreamworld says their priority tonight is continuing to support their team member. And Georgina Hill is live for us at Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. And Georgie, what will happen next at Tiger Island? Sharon, park management say a thorough review is now underway alongside a separate WorkSafe investigation. But Dreamworld still has not confirmed exactly what will happen to that tiger. As for the handler tonight, she is still stable in the Gold Coast University Hospital. And when you consider the sheer size of these animals, anywhere between 100 and 200 kilograms, if the tiger was a male, she is also incredibly lucky. Doctors are treating her for those cuts, those lacerations and bite wounds mainly around her arm. They will also monitor her to make sure she doesn't contract any sort of infection from the animal's bite. Sharon. Georgina Hill live on the Gold Coast. Thank you. He's one of Australia's worst pedophiles and he was found right here working at childcare centres across our southeast. Ashley Paul Griffith today pleaded guilty to more than 300 charges. Families of some of his 60 victims were there in court. We can't show you their faces, but we can tell you their...